truly make the shifts, especially with digital and healthcare, we have to educate the patients and we have to really focus on educating the clinicians uh, and the providers. So uh, curious if you have any lessons learned or insights from, uh, from your experiences. So we started actually very early on um, essentially training coaches in doctors' offices. Um, one of the reasons was to really learn from the doctors and understand what they needed. And then in collaboration with Heal Thy Practice, we actually um, took a number of doctors through a six months program where they themselves were using the technology in their practices so that we could get the feedback around what worked, what didn't work, how were they thinking about it? How was it changing the way that they were looking at their, their patients? Um, and it was very valuable for us to get sort of the insights into how do you as a provider really engage with your clients and where could this be a helpful tool? Imagine if you are a doctor, you are swamped, you don't have time, you have five to 15 minutes for a patient, but you should have four hours with them especially if it's a chronic disease patient, <clears throat> you're overwhelmed with 3,000 different apps that are coming to your office trying to sell to you every day. So it's also a question of like, okay, can we save time for this doctor? Can we save him, you know, can we give additional data for him as we mentioned with epilepsy? What are the upsides and the, and the downsides that we can mitigate for the doctor to actually use that? Because doctors, of course, they care and they are also humans that can be overwhelmed and learning a new technology is a big ask, especially if you have so many coming to you. So thinking, you know, how, what are the incentives for doctors and how can we actually work with them, not to add to the burden, but to help them. Um, it really makes me think about, you know, my vision for the future of healthcare, which is truly an integrative system where, you know, it's may, may not actually be the doctors who have to do the educating. Maybe it's the, uh, there's a digital, there's a digital person that's part of the, family team and you you know you consult with the digital person to see hey is actually a drug the best move because the patient's already attuned to taking a drug into complying to a drug regimen or is it like you said a um a digital companion that you also need to help you with your behavioral changes so i'm yeah i feel really energized by by everything you're sharing and i have so many different ideas